Hey everyone, welcome to this video walkthrough where I'm going to demonstrate how we can use the mm -hmm app to create really kind of powerful instructional videos and how you can also use this tool inside of a Zoom or a Google Meet call to kind of change the experience for you as the presenter and for your attendees or your students. So I think the biggest thing that the mm -hmm app allows us to do is kind of take our content, our slides or the images that we like to refer to, and instead of having to do a screen share with that image, we can simply add it into our experience like we have now. So for example, I could take this slide that I have behind me and make that full screen. I can take myself as the presenter and maybe make myself a little bit smaller, hide myself in the corner with a really quick kind of change of the orientation, and then I'll put myself back in this corner, make myself a little bit bigger, and go back with the smaller slide. So the tool right now is available for Mac as a kind of beta, you have to request the invite. There's talk that it's also going to be available on the PC and on a mobile, kind of the iPad version soon. So I'm actually using the app right now to create this little video introduction. But here's the tool. So it's mhm.app and you can head here, here to grab your invite. I got my invite after a week or so. I know they're kind of actively getting beta testers in right now. So now that you have kind of a general sense of why you might want to use this, either in a live call, Zoom or Google Meet, or to create kind of an instructional video that you could just record as an MP4 and then share with your students, I'm going to get into the process of kind of getting your content into mm -hmm, showing what the whole kind of experience looks like, and then even demoing what it would look like in a Zoom or a Google Meet environment. So let's get started on that side of the walkthrough. So this is what it looks like when you're building with mm -hmm. So as you can see down below is where I can add all of my content, my slides, or even a screen share of a web browser or an application. So down here, here's a slide that I just built in Google Slides. Here's an inserted web browser where I'm kind of visiting the mm -hmm app page. And then two more slides that I've added. So down here, you'll notice there's a little plus button where we can add media or do add screen share. Now, with regards to adding media, your content has to be image files. So I'm personally a Google Slides user. So what I like to do with my Google Slides presentation, I use an add-on called Slides Toolbox. And what that add-on allows me to do is download all of my slides in one shot as a zipped file, and there'll be a stack of images. And I just simply drag and drop those into mm -hmm, and then I can get up and running. So if you'll notice in the app as well, there's a little drag icon to make yourself bigger or smaller. You can turn yourself, turn the background slides off if you don't like to want to refer to them, move yourself around a bit. There's hot cues to go into either corner. I'll go back to the kind of call out feature up here. I can go full screen behind me if I want to, make myself a bit smaller, go down to the corner to really emphasize the content, make myself a bit bigger. Now in the presenter option in this drop down menu, you can change the opacity of your own front-facing video. Change the way that you're presented as well. I like the silhouette one as it has kind of a built-in green screening feature. I don't even have a green screen behind me. This is just my regular kind of home office environment and it does a pretty decent cutout instantly. What I can also do if I kind of increase the transparency, you can lay a colored filter over yourself as well. So now you can kind of be like a Star Wars force ghost if you want to. I'll go back to presenter, turn off the color overlay, bring me back to zero transparency. So now down below, I can now go to a slide, talk about this idea. I might pull the slide down, really focus on what I'd like to talk about, push myself back down to the opposite corner, go to a full web browser, maybe have that go full screen, do a live demo of a web tool or a simulation. Maybe I'd be using like the Desmos graphing calculator or a FET simulation, but it's running behind me the whole time. And now here's a slide that I have. And again, this was from a Google slide presentation, but now what I'm able to do is kind of import those as an image file and then instruct right on top of them. One thing I like to do when I make an instructional videos as well is I'll often take like a round version of me and whatever part of the slide I'm talking about, I might bring myself up to that portion of the slide so students kind of get an emphasis of the idea and where I want to kind of direct their attention. So that's something you can also do here. I'll go back to the silhouette view and bring myself back down to the corner. So this is just a process to get, process to get up and running with mm -hmm, um, and get comfortable with the interface. Now, if I wanted to turn this into a video, there's a record button. 
and my options are to record as an MP4 that I can save locally. Or there's also an option to record to an interactive presentation. And that, that would actually let the end user jump ahead in the presentation to any point they wanted and even change their experience of how they're viewing it. I think recording to MP4 might be the most uh, kind of uh, best entry point now for creating content here. Now with record, regards to the off air on air button, if you would like to use mm -hmm in either a Zoom call or a Google Meet call, you'd have to enable on air and what that's going to do is allow in those other video conferencing tools to select mm -hmm as your camera instead of your front facing camera. And then you'll be in the Zoom call or the Google Meet call. You will not have to share your screen. But what you're able to do is kind of manipulate yourself in the mm -hmm app. But you can also see all of the attendees because you're not screen sharing. And they can simply pin your video if they'd like to have you larger screen. So I'm going to leave this on air for now. And now what we're going to do in the video is shift to the process of using the mm -hmm app in a video conferencing tool like Zoom or Google Meet. So let's check that process out. All right, so here we are in a kind of mock setup. And what I've done here is I have mm -hmm running on the right and I have my live Zoom call on the left. So if you notice in my Zoom call right now, I'm using my front facing camera, a kind of normal setup. And if I wanted to share information, I'd have to do a screen share and then I lose the view of my participants. Now to the right of me, I have a hmm running at the same time. So watch what I'll do now. I'm gonna to toggle my zoom camera over to the mm hmm camera. Now everything I'm doing in the mm hmm app, I'm able to kind of manipulate there. And if I had participants in the room with me, I could still see them in tiled mode or I can pin another presenter if I want to. So now as I'm jumping through my slides in the mm hmm app, I can manipulate myself in the app but it's presented that way in real time over in Zoom. And I can demo this in Google Meet as well. If I go to my web browser, now I can navigate the web. I would leave mm -hmm, leave Zoom because it's still doing a screen share in mm -hmm, but it's using the front facing camera also. So I'm jumping through my slides, providing instruction as I normally would. So I don't ever have to initiate a screen share. What I tell other participants in the Zoom call to do is hover over my video and pin the video so it goes full screen for them, but I still want to see everyone. And I like the idea that if there's an idea that's really important in my slides, I can simply minimize, minimize myself, focus on the content on the slides, and then if I need to, I can pull the slides down, make myself a little bit bigger, make the emphasis, the instruction, or the presenting that I'm doing, make that smaller again, go back to a kind of cutout option or go back to full screen. And again, just like before, I can even hide myself for a moment if I need to, turn myself back on or make myself a little more transparent to really focus on the ideas in the presentation. So that's what it looks like when you have both running the real time. Mm -hmm. In Zoom, and Zoom is using the mm -hmm camera. So let me also quickly demo what this would look like in Google Meet, and then we'll kind of wrap things up, um, pulling the whole tool together. Here we are in a Google Meet call, and I'll go through the setup to enable the mm -hmm camera in Google Meet. Now, one thing that you might notice right now is that in the mm -hmm camera on the right, my slides look good. They're in the top right-hand corner, but everything's kind of flipped or mirrored in Google Meet. Don't worry. For your end users who are kind of watching this on their device, they're going to have the pro proper view. They will see exactly what the mm -hmm camera looks like. So what I'm able to do now, just to show you the settings here, if I go into the triple dots in Google Meet, and get into the settings of Google Meet. I can toggle over to the video option and then notice I've selected the mm -hmm camera and I can go right back to my own or stick with the mm -hmm camera. And this gives you the option again, all of the manipulation that I do over here in mm -hmm is gonna happen real time. And then like I said, for the end user, they're getting the kind of full experience the same way that it looks in the mm -hmm camera side. So let's kind of close this portion of the tutorial out and then we'll jump back into just kind of wrapping the whole thing up talk about creating content with mm -hmm, and then even other video tools that it works with. And hopefully you can get your beta invite and get up and running soon. So we've made it through the basic introduction. You have a sense of what the app allows you to do. You've kind of seen the app as well, understand how it connects with Zoom, how it connects with Google Meet. There's a host of other video conferencing tools that it works with that is available on the mm -hmm website under their help page. But I think one of the primary ways that you might even be able to use this is not necessarily to do this live during a, you know, a synchronous video call, it's to create content. So taking your existing content, 
and then turning it into an instructional video where you can kind of minim minimize your kind of your presence in the video and draw attention up here quickly turning yourself off to bring attention on what's going on with the slides in the background or the media or the image or whatever might be back there and then jumping back to have yourself in the session with the ability to add in a screen share instantly and go to any web-based content that you would like and then doing live demos over web-based content can be really powerful. So again, like I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm is available right now on the Mac platform. They're working on the PC side of it. Hopefully that comes out soon. Um, it is a beta tool right now. They've kind of mentioned the fact that during the summer while it's under beta testing, it's going to be free. And then kind of moving forward, there'll be a free version and a paid version. But I think it's a creation tool for teachers that's really intuitive once you get up and running with simply using the, the app to create instructional video. So like I said, good luck. I hope you have success with the tool. Get an invite and start creating content yourself.